Hey, it's me. And welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you're new here, I'm May. And here on this channel, we talk about all things looking good, feeling good, and smelling good. So it is May now, y'all. Okay, it's May. So my no my no fragrance by April is over. Um, and I made it. I think I did release a video where I talked about a new fragrance, but that had been an older video. So I made it. Round of applause for Nay. Anyway, I went to Sephora and I got two fragrances and then a little sample fragrance. I got so if this is your first video, um, I don't really buy full size fragrances anymore. Um, I will buy a one fluid ounce and a 1.7 fluid ounce sometimes, um, especially if I really like a fragrance. But if and I think I'm gonna be able to use it like a lot, like for you know a, a varying amounts of situations, I will go ahead and get a one or 1.7 fluid ounce. And depending on the brand, some brands I just buy a one fluid ounce anyway. But this typically I just buy travel spray type of fragrances because um, I'm just of. Wally buff for your grins, all right? So I got two fragrances and a sample. We're gonna do the sample first. Um, one is a newer fragrance, one is an older fragrance. They are from the same line. And then this sample one is also a new one. I have smelt this already and I'm gonna let you know, spoiler alert, I do not like this fragrance. This is Juliet Has a Gun, Lust for Sun. For me, Juliet Has a Gun brand is not a brand I have actually any full size right now i do have some plans to buy one or two but i just don't think just to be honest um it's per se for me especially at the price point that juliet has a gun does sell their products for which is mid price range i think of like 140 and up type of price or something like that right I smelt this in the store. I sprayed it on me. This is a white floral bomb. Let's go through the um, notes. So the main accords are white floral, sweet citrus, yellow floral, floral, musky, coconut, lactonic, amber, and vanilla. I don't think, I'm going to be really honest, that they needed all the damn florals they put in this freaking scent. Lust for sun. Why is there floral? The sun would burn up the florals. So why is there so much florals in here? I am unsure. Um... The notes go like this. Coconut, bergamot, freesia. Gardenia, ylang ylang, jasmine, and orange blossom. And broxen, white musk, and vanilla. Now, I'm a little disappointed that I don't like this. The only fragrance I feel like might be worth the price of a... Of a um, Julie Has a Gun fragrance is the Pear Ink for sure. I would have a full size of that. I also... It is just a white floral bomb. It's definitely warm. The orange blossom is shining in there. That's not per se what's bothering me, I believe. I think the freesia and gardenia are not it in this fragrance. The coconut is just trying to gloss over and sweeten it up um, along with the vanilla and um, it's, it's not it. It's just a very white floral fragrance. This would be something I would actually believe you'd wear in the like fall and winter. It's just obnoxious. I think if you like Alien, um, there's a chance you might like this. Like it's, it's, it, um, I like Alien, but this is just too much white. The white floors is not it. It's just a very obnoxious fragrance. So I'm surprised they released it as it warm weather is coming. It's just super obnoxious. Now, even just waiting for the dry down i'm not the biggest fan of waiting for the dry down especially if i really don't like the opening um but i just this is not it because the dry down is okay as it's drying down it's getting a little less obnoxious but those first initial sprays will have has me gagging um this says the olfactive incarnation of summer Imagined and created by Romano Ricci, which is the great grandson of Nina Ricci. I don't know. If I made a fragrance about summer, I, this wouldn't be it. It's not for me. I'm going to let this chill. I'm not going to 
throw it out. I got it for free, like the 100 points or whatever. But it's just not for me. So I went ahead and got some of the Versace Pore Femme um, Dylan line. So let's do the older one. I have here Versace Dylan Turquoise. And they have the travel sprays here, but I am interested in just the way the package look with this. What am I? Let's cut this open. Okay. This came out in 2020. So it's not a super old fragrance, but it's older. Um, and the main accords are citrus, woody, musky, fruity, soft, spicy, aromatic, floral, fresh, powdery, and tropical. I think that people just love to call everything tropical. However, there is guava in here, so this is lemon, mandarin, orange, and pink pepper, guava, freesia, cassis, and jasmine, clear wood, musk, and cedar. This is really cute to me. I know it can't stand up, but I, I just think this is adorable. And this is, it looks really small compared to like a travel spray, but it's the same amount of 10 ml, I believe. Like, so this is, yeah. So here's Kayali's Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64. Look how small that is. Guys, that is so small, but it does have the same amount of juice. So let's talk. This is very lovely to me, especially when taking into consideration how hot it is and how the bees be bees in. Um, I want the bees to bees, of course, because we need them, but I want them to bees not in my, like, not in my face, not on coming near me. Mind you, like, play with that flower, not me. This is so pretty to me. This is like, like that clean girl aesthetic with a little kick to her. I like pink pepper as a note. I have released a, um, I have a whole, like, what would you consider like series um where, you, where it's like i pick a specific fragrance note and then i talk about the note and i talk about some fragrances that i have with that note i believe i've released my pink pepper one already guys this is so pretty the lemon and orange in here are very very fresh it's almost like the lemon more takes over the orange because orange most of the time in for me is got some sweet sweetness in it this is a very fresh the pink pepper in the opening has a little kick in here and then the guava like sweetens this up a little almost in like a smoothing way as well like there's something about this i would think guava would be a little tart <clears throat> but it's not it's it's fruity it's delicious but not yummy and not super sweet it's giving clean um i think i would enjoy a bigger bottle of this but i would buy it online because it is old, a little bit older so i think i can get it cheaper online so pretty I don't think this is gonna last long. I don't, most fresh scents don't last super long because of just the nature of the ingredients in it. It's described as a citrus woody floral and that's exactly what it is. If you like citrus has you heavy perfumes, this is for you. I think, mm, I just don't think it's offensive. I think it's just, like I said, clean girl aesthetic vibes. It's giving, I'm clean, I take showers, I take care of myself, crisp. Um fresh it's nice i don't think this is a magical scent i think if you like fresher scents if you like citrus based scents um if you just like lighter scents that won't disappear within 20 minutes i think this is for you i think with most most fragrances if you're going to go ahead and um put a fragrance on you make sure you put it upon your clothes because your clothes is what's going to make a fragrance is what's going to make a fragrance last the longest it's nothing special, it's nothing amazing, but the longevity is decent. It's, oh, it's so lovely. That citrus burst is just really nice. And I think some people forget about that, especially, oh, it depends where you live, but if it gets hot, this is gonna be so lovely. If you don't wanna, I don't know, you want people to think, um, is she wearing fragrance or is that her soap or her lotion or something? This is lovely. But it is like a tangy lemon scent. Mm. I'm glad I have this in my collection. I also think these bottles are super cute. I mean, I think the, the bigger bottles are super cute, but I also, I just really like 
these things as well they're adorable and they're so like i'm small and my hands are small and it's like nothing in my hand guys it's just so tiny and beautiful and cute i got the newer one and these retailed for $33. So it's the exact same look, just purple. And instead of the... No, actually, it's the same. Yeah, I was gonna say this looks slightly more goldish, but no, I think it's the same thing. Same look, just with the purple bottom. Um, and the blue one, light blue one, is a little frosted. This is completely cl like clear, not frosted. This one is fruity, citrus, amber, floral, musky, woody, sweet, fresh, aquatic, and fresh, spicy. This is right up my alley. Um, this is right up my alley. I think. I believe there's pears in there. Hold on. Pear, bitter orange, bergamot, freesia, poma rose, mahon, ma, mahonio, mahonio, and broxen, iso e super, so, cyclodial, cyclolide, Virginia cedar, and bella, bellambra tree. What the F is this note? Musk? Okay. Amber no. Okay. This is delicious. Um delicious in a fresh scent if you like the uh uh burberry her eau de toilette you're probably gonna like this it is beautiful but very subtle i do think the burberry her is a little more out there this is beautiful the pair in here is beautiful this cycloid note that says like amber that's the warmth i'm smelling in here there's a warmth without being obnoxious in here there is a fresh juiciness um uh, without being too non-existent um there's a, i mean i'm so super so that's gonna depend on your skin there's some woody aspects in here it's it's really pretty i think this is pretty for the sake of being pretty it's also a clean girl aesthetic vibe i think the bottle is absolutely gorgeous i think this deserves more hype than i feel like it's been getting although to be fair i haven't been watching a ton of um fragrance videos in the month of april just so i wouldn't be um tempted to buy fragrances so some people are saying that this does not last very long easy to wear elegant noticeable in a nice way soft warm spicy loving I think that, um, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like people have too high of an expectation of fragrance, okay? It's smelly water, okay? It is, there are some fragrances out there, of course, that are going to last very long, okay? Um, for me, personally, those fragrances typically are not for summertime because it's too damn hot for oud or super thick or goopy or milk super milky or super creamy type of fragrances there's a time and a place for that i think this is a very lovely spring summer scent this is a barbecue approved scent this is outside party scent this is honestly even a beach scent this is a um intimate encounter scent this is a i'm just going about my um typical groceries scent this is just so nice this is lovely There's a slight tartness to this. I'm trying to figure out why. There's slight, 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 slight minuscule tartness to this that I really like. I'm not so, what is Poma Rose? Let's look at that. A Givaudan captive material with a powerful rose fruity smell. <laughs> Something slightly tart in here. Maybe it's the bitter art, I don't know. I really like it though. It's beautiful, it's beautiful but it's not a super projector it's not gonna last super long on your skin i okay the more you moisturize the more you not just your outside but take in like liquids water okay electrolytes 
the longer a fragrance is going to last on your skin. The, the type of notes, like I said before, is going to shape how long the fragrance lasts on your skin. The whether or not you sp how many sprays you put on a fragrance make it last. The whether where you put it on your skin and if you put it on your clothes, on your hair and all of that stuff. It's all going to make it so that things last longer. If you're a one, two sprayer, you're probably going to be disappointed. You want that 12 hour, you're going to probably be disappointed. But for $32 for 10 ml, I'm not mad at it um, at all. I think the scent is very lovely. I I think the scent is very lovely and I love the packaging. It's almost slightly shampoo-y too. Maybe that's from the Frisia. It's so nice and juicy and yummy. Mm, the pear is perfect in here. Mm, so delicious. So yeah, that's Versace's Pore Femme de Lin Purple. So that's all I want to talk about today. Let me know if you have any Versace fragrances um, down in the comment section below. Let's chatter about it. Did you like the new uh, Versace? Do you like the Dylan line at all? Any of the Dylan fragrances? Because I think they get a love and hate. Like people just like, it doesn't last long. Or, oh my gosh, it smells like cleaner. Or whatever the thing is. I don't get any of that stuff. Um, and I would also like the blue. The blue one is, the dark blue one seems really nice too. I might just collect them all like they damn Pokemon, right? Like they look like, toss it. Dylan Blue. <laughs> like, <laughs> let me stop the foolishness anyway thank you so much for watching this whole video if you like this video please don't forget to give it a like i mean if you made it to this point might as well just give it a like and subscribe jenna fam and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye bye